daily devotion with Pastor Bala for September 26, 2020, from 2 Kings chapter 6, the floating axe head. Verse 1. Now the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, See, the place where we dwell under your charge is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan, and each of us get there a log, and let us make a place for us to dwell there. And he answered, Go. Then one of them said, Be pleased to go with your servant. And he answered, I will go. Many would say, hey, this is a nice problem to have with many of our churches too big for their congregations. Here we have a community that has outgrown its space, but it's still a problem. Now they have to cut wood and build a bigger place. Verse 4, so he went with them, and when they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was felling a log, his axe head fell into the water. And he cried out, Alas, my master, it was borrowed. Oops, you can't cut down trees without an axe head. And the, probably the worst part of it all, it was borrowed. It wasn't even there. So there was a little bit of responsibility there. Verse 6, Then the man of God said, Where did it fall? When he showed him the place, he cut off a stick and threw it in there and made the iron float. And he said, take it up. So he reached out his hand and took it. Now this account may sound like a, just a simple miracle, raising an ax head from the bottom of a river, but it's still a miracle. But it also, points to a much, much better miracle. Consider the following. An axe head was useful, at least until it went its own way, so to speak, just like Adam and Eve. They were useful. They were obeying God and taking care of the Garden of Eden until they went their own way by disobeying God by sinning, by following into temptation. Elisha used a stick to raise the axe head so that it could float. It wasn't until the wood, say, the wooden cross of Jesus and the atoning death of Jesus that humanity could be restored. So by a stick, we also were raised, so to speak, Humanity was restored to its relationship with its creator. By the way, as a little bit of an extra note, the water that we're talking about in Elisha's account is the water of the Jordan River, the same place where Jesus was baptized. The great exchange takes place in that river. What is the great exchange? During baptism, our sins are washed away from us. And Jesus, who didn't commit any sin, now goes to the Calvary's cross, that wooden cross, bearing our sin. So how does Jesus receive our sin? Well, you could say, when Jesus was baptized, the sinless Son of God now carries the sin of the whole world because through baptism our sin is washed away and it's placed upon Jesus. The great exchange. St. Paul says it this way in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. For our sake he made Jesus to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about ending a war without a fight. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.